Hi everyone, this is Joy. Happy mosaicing. We're finally getting to this one. So I usually start off my project by separating out my colors and then laying down the baubles so I can get an idea and then laying down the other flat tiles. So here's a couple ideas. One with symmetrical lines, one with flowers, one with flowing lines. Uh, I like to group colors together. Uh, this is the simple design that I started to, decided to go with and show you how to create. This is probably the simplest one and you should have enough tiles to do something similar. Hey everyone, so we are going to be gluing down our tiles now that we have a design. And uh, I have glued all of this uh, one side at a time. So you lay out your design, we have it roughly in place, and then we take out a section and just put it back in place. So I'm gonna take out this row and that'll uh, be my guide. So I am going to take my glue. This is Weld Bond glue. It's a non-toxic, um, it's like basically like a really strong white glue uh, that is used frequently for indoor mosaics. You would not want to use this for an outdoor mosaic because it is it would take some soaking, but it is not waterproof. So I'm just looking, I have um, seven baubles to put along this edge and I'm just putting dots uh, where they're going to be roughly and you can wiggle them in place and set them better once you have your glue down and you want to be relatively generous with the glue it goes on white but just like white glue it dries clear you need to let it set uh, I would let it set for two days before I grouted but you guys are gonna have two weeks to grout before we grout so it'll be very well set uh, I try not to get glue on top of the glass because that's kind of a mess to clean up when you're grouting. You end up having, it really catches the grout. But I always put the center one, kind of eyeballing it in between, if there is a center one. And this is a relatively simple design because it has a lot of symmetri symmetry and it makes it a little easier. So when I was laying out this design, as you, if you remember from the picture I showed you, I kind of separate out my colors and then decide how I want my baubles to be and then go from there. I want a little bit more on this one. So you see how I'm just moving them a little because the glue is still wet. You can put it on the backs and put it on, but I find that's harder. This is a little easier in my opinion, but if it's easier for you to put it on each bobble one at a time, feel free to do it that way. That's how I started but I think this is easier. So I'm just sort of evening these out, eyeballing it. It's not perfect. Remember the rule, you can't be perfect. It's not allowed. You're gonna have more fun if you don't try to be perfect. All right, now uh, these I'm gonna take off for right now, but I'm gonna just kind of keep them in the same order so that I know how they're supposed to be laid on. This one, is my center point, so I'm gonna try to keep those two even. Whoops. And it just depends on your design, how you're gonna take these off and put them back on. I find because this is a frame, it's easier to work from one side, from the inside out, uh, but this is again, this is your, this is your project. There's no, I mean, you're just, if you think about this as a preschool project, <laughs> it's glue and paint. It's 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 uh, glue and put it down. That's all you're doing: gluing and putting it down. It's something you can do while you uh, watch TV, especially the laying out part. Uh, this isn't particularly messy, I guess. Unless you spill this little tub of glue, it's not that messy. You could put a newspaper underneath you. We pre-primed. I pre-primed these so that they'll be easier to manage, and um, there won't be. Priming will help because this is a water-based glue and we will be using a grout that's water-based. Priming just helps this masonite board not to suck up all of the, the water. 
and I primed with Kills, which is a primer I highly recommend for lots and lots of things. But, see, you might love this so much, you might want to buy some Weld Bond. You can do Weld Bond. You will glue down any, any uh, indoor project with glass, with ceramic. So if you have some uh, teacups or plates or, uh, I don't know, you could have computer part collage. I mean, you, could, you can glue down anything with this. It's a great glue for 3D objects because... You can, um, all right, so let me see what I'm doing here. So now I'm gonna do these last row of bobbles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these are evenly spaced. So I'm just gonna put uh, some dots in here, roughly where it should be. And put a little bit more, because again, you'd rather be generous than not generous enough. But once this is set, uh, we had a project we were doing, the, the big mosaics outside the youth area, and some things got put in wrong, because kids were doing it, and I love kids, but I had to fix it. Uh, all right, so see, I didn't put those dots quite right on, but I'm just gonna wiggle them into place, and there's some, because there's enough glue there to do that. I'm going to just kind of even these out so they're roughly about the same amount of space so this space here uh, maybe this space that's probably my widest space I have in the hole that's about maybe a half an inch uh, because these have pretty good gaps in them I mean we're going to be using sanded grout and the sanded grout uh, is what you want to use if your spaces are more than a quarter inch apart so we're going to be using sanded grout it's a stronger grout and it's for larger spaces you know I'm not even paying that much attention right now I'm just putting a lot of dots down I actually could just go across if I wanted to to tell you the truth that might even be easier so you see I learn as I go so I'm gonna put these down I may have to adjust this one a little bit So this is it. It's done. I already did the other three sides. So this is going to just sit here. And dry. So that wasn't too hard. That took me, the longest part of time is getting your design. Actually gluing it down may take an hour. And so you can see here that that glue, this glue is the first glue that I laid down on both sides. So it's already starting to dry pretty good. But again, if you let it dry too much and you want to relay it because you're like, eh, that was bothering me. I want to change it. Take a knife. You can take a little butter knife and pry it out of there. Uh, or perhaps tweezers. I've done it. So, all right, everybody. Happy mosaicing.